morning, Zach Sweeney here, Winterset High School, uh, serving as one of the strength coaches here. Uh, our four main goals in our strength training program, which we call Husky Power, are to improve athletically, uh, reduce and recover, so we want to reduce the number of injuries and recover faster, and then also improve uh, self-confidence, and then improve that, that team confidence and that that school confidence, that school culture. So our program, uh, once again, is called Husky Power. There's a two-day in-season version, a three-day off-season version, and a four-day off-season version. And our goal then is to have all in-season athletes lifting, lifting two times a week with at least one day rest in between, and our off-season athletes uh, lifting three to four days a week on those programs. We do test out in March, and then we test out again in a June. Our program has foundation in, in bigger, faster, stronger, with uh, direct influence uh, from Chris Doyle, who's a strength coach at University of Iowa, uh, Brian Glover, strength coach out at uh, Christian Valor High School, and uh, Tony Stewart, head strength coach over at North Scott High School uh, in Eastern Iowa. We are going to start here and go through a four-day uh, program. We're going to have three athletes help us out and appreciate them giving us their, their time on this wonderful Saturday morning here in, uh, in mid-January. We'll start with our ticket in the door, and our ticket in the door is our, our hurdle routine uh, for, for hip flexion and, uh, and hip development and mobility, and then, and then dots. We would love to do a dynamic warm-up uh, every time but with, with space out of limiting factor, we don't always have that, and we should be able to get hurdles and dots in, and uh, look forward to then with these guys taking you through that four-day program uh, one day at a time. So thanks for what you do with kids, and, and thanks for your time viewing this video. All right, go. <clears throat> okay, so hurdle routine, we have the guys go, athletes go through. This way, with our orientation, they're all facing west. We can have everybody go through those, obviously, over and under, and then go back and lead with the other leg. In this case, for us, we're pointing east. And once again, this would be that first component or that first ticket in the door. And then they'll go through twice going forward. Make sure they lead with that same leg. So Justin and Brad and then Noah should all be leading right leg. And then second time through, uh, they'll all go through with left leg. And this is just a great, great warm up. Uh, get those hips loosened up and increase the, the hip mobility. boy! And that happens too for us really tall guys. All right, so we're gonna go through dots here next. We got uh, five movements that we do, uh, developed with BFS, and we'll show you those five movements uh, singularly. We do those five movements six times. So here's Noah doing the uh, first movement, up back twice. And then after that, we go to Justin, who would do the right foot, and we always wanna be uh, changing direction. Oh, came across there. And then Brad, once again, we want to go in, out, over, in, out, over. And then Noah, we come back, then we go to two feet for the third movement. In, out, over. And then Justin has our spin. Okay, and now we'll just watch these guys go ahead and do this through. Uh, and you can do this as a, uh, as a time speed component. So go ahead, guys, try to go through that in that same order. Just show them what it's like. Uh, we're outside the weight room right now, but we have uh, four to five of these pads uh, set up in the weight room. And then in the adjacent junior high gym, uh, we have 20, approximately 25 of these patterns uh, painted on the floor. So once again, we can go through the hurdles, split up, do hurdles and dots. And then our athletes get accustomed that this is your ticket to get into 
the weight room. And the idea is to hit the dot. We did see we did switch up the pattern a little bit with Mr. Kale. Like me, sometimes it gets confusing and we forget to count sometimes. So as we transition in the weight room, the guy's getting ready here. What our plan is here is to go through this four day Husky Power. This is a, uh, a eight week sheet with our, with our core lifts like you can see here with day one, which is power clean and front squat. We do wanna write down what we did and then total these each time. And then as we go, so we'll go through a power clean front squat. Guys would, you can see there week one is a three by three. Should be a total on each one of those. And then we'll go through our uh, auxiliaries right down through that. And then uh, go, through, go through day two. You can see power clean and front squat focus day one. Day two, a focus there on your cores, incline bench and uh, some deadlift, reintroducing in the program. Day three, have a bench and then squat. Uh, parallel squat there is the goal. And then <clears throat> day four, variation on the clean, the hang clean and the military press. And then our two day and our three day programs are then variations, uh, all being ground based explosion uh, focused and uh, development of that multi-sport high school athlete. Okay, Brad's going to start us here with the power clean. Brad does a great job in, in his approach to the bar and we want that butt low and a good inverted C in the back and then upwardly explosive. <clears throat> Brad, Brad does a great job of keeping that bar vertical and then catching the bar and then locking it out or finishing there with the hips. All right, very good. Okay, Noah's going to show us then uh, a, a front squat here. Once again, he gets his gets his feet uh, shoulder width or uh, slightly apart after he after he loads up. <clears throat> Noah's got that good inverted C in the back. Going to get down parallel or just below. Justin's in a great spot position right there. And then, as you'll see, go ahead rack it here. Justin's in position to help him walk that right into the rack. Uh, Noah's did the crossed arm version, and then you'll see right here with Brad, uh, Brad's got the longer, more accessible levers, so Brad will do with the elbows straight pointed out on the front squat. Okay, Justin's then gonna demo here the dumbbell snatch. He's gonna start from a hang position and explode straight up overhead, okay? If the feet do get a little wider like Justin do, try to narrow them back up with each rep a little bit there and that would be the dumbbell snatch. We can also go from the power clean position which would be down on the ground right there as Justin did there. Thank you sir. Alright the next lift going down day one is a dumbbell curl to press. Once again trying to be good ground base there, good bend, good athletic knees and, uh, and get the bang for a buck tying lifts together. Okay so we got a curl and then we got right into a press there, there with Noah. Very good, sir. Okay, next auxiliary then on the day one would be going right down the sheet, would be a dumbbell lunge. <clears throat> okay, so Brad's going to go ahead and demo those dumbbell lunge. Notice it does a great job of keeping that weight uh, hanging down uh, right through his hip and getting out. And one thing we, we'll try to look here is Brad does a great job with his knee uh, tracking on his, on his toe. Great job, thank you sir. Okay, Justin then to, <clears throat> to finish up our main auxiliary for day one is the, uh, is the barbell row. Just really working sliding from the knee to the hip. Knee to the hip, working that posterior chain and that posterior chain is uh, strengthening the back side of your body through your, uh, through your lats there. Okay, so we got straight leg deadlift here uh, with a Noah. <clears throat> Once again, just like it sounds, the legs are straight. He's going down. He's got good flexibility, trying to get down uh, below the toes, keeping the bar tight all the way down. This is one of our only lifts where you might end up with a little bit rounding of the back. 
but we're not loading any leg, any weight, excuse me. This is for the lower extremities and the lengthen of those hamstrings there. Thank you, sir. Okay, Brad's going to get into our, to our glute ham here and do the full range of motion. We can do varying ones. Brad does a good job going down, nice pause. And as you can see, pulling with his glutes and his hamstrings, pulling himself up to that almost perpendicular 90 degree uh, angle right there. Thanks, Brad. Uh, that, that concludes day one. Looking at the bottom here, we will do crunches and uh, neck machine at the end as uh, some of these are repeated as our SLDL's glute ham. But as you can see, these guys did a nice job demoing for us. And then going back up to the top, that would be our day one. And then on this particular day, you can see it would be dated and then uh, signed by a coach. And those guys should know across the bottom, yes, we did do uh, hurdles and dots to get in the room and then build that idea that, hey, we want to be working in here, improving athletically, reducing our risk of injury, increasing self-confidence, team confidence, and then hopefully getting in that mindset as we get stronger that we are, uh, are outworking our opponents. All right, day, day two starts with the incline bench. We got Justin with the incline, Noah with a great liftoff, top of his chest, above his eyes uh, with Justin. Nice control down, good press up, with hopefully, as if we haven't reiterated, uh, a exhale when you perform the lift, inhale on that down motion. Noah stepping in a, in a hex bar here to do a deadlift, reintroducing the deadlift, and we, we teach this as a tempo lift, where we want to be just under control, straight up and down. Uh, Noah does a great job keeping that inverted C in his back which we'll talk about here in a little bit with the squat and not, not featuring excessive weight here, just that good uh, explosive ground base explosion vertical. Thank you, sir. Uh, in our clean progression, uh, we have a lift that Brad's gonna demonstrate called the high pull, and this would be one phase in that progression of a clean. So he's gonna load up ground base explosion and pull that bar <laughs> Uh, up to his chin, get that ground base triple extension as much as we can with the ankles, uh, knees, and hip, and work that, work that pulling form, keeping that bar tight to his body. Okay, so now Brad's gonna continue with a variation on this day, which is called the hang clean and press. Okay, so now he's gonna lower the bar down just above his knees into a hang clean position, reload, and press it up above, above the head. If Brad does split the legs on the press, that's okay. And he's alternating legs, but coming back to a good ground base, uh, clean progression right there with that triple extension. And you can press it with your feet parallel as well. Uh, next in the progression will be, will be the lat pull, which we'll film here uh, on the other side of the room in closing. Uh, right after that, we'd go to uh, shoulder raises. So Justin's gonna start with a front raise. You can do both arms together or Justin is alternating. And after he would get uh, whatever his mark is, eight to 10 on the front, then he would go right into a lateral raise right here and trying to still keep a little bend in, that, in those elbows and, and raise in that lateral motion. Once again, strengthen the shoulder and, and the upper back. Okay, our next auxiliary then, Noah's gonna demonstrate is going to be our push up right into a dumbbell row. So we would perform a push up right into a single arm uh, row, push up <clears throat> right into a single arm row, and he would do 10 push ups then with five rows uh, each arm. Good job. Okay, Justin's next going into a reverse curl. Okay, with that curl bar working the triceps nice and controlled down to the top of his forearm and then extend it up and Noah's there as he's finished to help uh, with that spotting. Good job, guys. Guide his elbows. Yep, Brad will then get into a uh, dumbbell fly, uh, visualizing like he has a spherical object or a barrel on his chest, keeping good bend in those elbows. Justin's there to guide, guide the arms if Brad does begin to struggle, and then to help him 
with the weights as needed. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, that, that concludes day one there. Incline bench, deadlift, and that high pull hand clean progression. We will show how we do lap pull with a lap pull machine, shoulder raises, push ups, with a dumbbell roll, reverse curls, and then the dumbbell flies, and then, and then we'll get to crunches, but as you know, there's, there's varying ways, a uh, number of effective ways to work, work the abdomen. Okay, as we get into squat, we're gonna pan uh, across these guys to show you how we like to start. So guys, go ahead and get in an athletic position or a hang clean position. You'll notice here, uh, feet in the ground, ground-based explosion, that good inverted C in the back, good inverted C, uh, in the back and toes may be pointed in a little bit wide direction depending on the hips but a good inverted C. Now show them a rounded back guys. Okay, we don't want to see the uh, rounded back there. If we get that rounded back we want to correct it and now go back to a good athletic clean position and we want to be in an athletic position when we get ready to clean, squat and perform any ground based movement. All right, we got Justin getting ready here on the bench with Brad on the on the spot. Love to have <clears throat> someone ready there to uh, to lift it off and help rack it. And if it was a struggling uh, bencher, Brad, get those hands in there and track the bar. Then, if it was a struggling or novice bencher, we track those hands when Justin does finish. Okay, Brad will help rack that bar. Then, good from the chest, uh, straight up, and a nice. Nice powerful move. Okay, Noah getting ready to, to squat with Justin on the spot. We want to get to parallel. That's where the thigh would be at 90 degrees. We want the knees tracking on the toes. As he loads it, get, get backed up there. Get that good inverted C. Uh, Justin's ready there with the bar. With a novice uh, squatter once again, Justin show him the underhook where you get the arms more up under. And then as we would go for, for max repetition, a lot of times we would get a guy on the side to help secure the, the bar as well. Help him rack it, then Justin, guide him back in, and we rack her down. Important to coach each other up there and with novice learners to watch those toes in line with the knees and getting there down to parallel. Uh, Brad here with a wonderful lift for us the last year. Brad's a, a professional cleaner for us, and he's going to perform the rack clean to go from that static position and explode up and into a clean. And each, each rep, you would start from that static position. As we know in athletics, there's a lot of starting and stopping, thinking of volleyball or basketball with a jump. And then another quick jump again, uh, and that transfers all the way across into every realm. That is called the rack clean, starting in, in mid-thigh position there from that static start. All right, so Justin's getting ready on the, on the inverted rack row. All right, you can start <clears throat> with the legs full out, and this is to simulate that opposite of the bench press. Uh, guys that can't go from a plank position, if you can see here, can go from a bended knee position and then we're strengthening once again that, that posterior chain there through the back. Uh, we will get to tricep push downs here when we go to lap pull, other side of the room. Right now then, Brad's gonna spot up Noah on just some traditional dumbbell press. Uh, we do allow for <clears throat> a different finish. Some will touch side to side. Okay, with the bottoms on the pinky, some will touch side to side, thumb to thumb. And we do allow for that variation. Someone ready to spot there once again if you struggle. All right, and then to go ahead and set that down on the ground, if needed. Okay, next we'll have Brad demonstrate a, a RDL, Romanian deadlift. He's in a good athletic position, clean position, and then we lower Try to lower just at the hips and go down. And you see Brad's gonna get to maybe mid shin level and turn to the side. And once Brad gets past his knees, he'll start to feel it and it's a great hamstring lift. And that is called the RDL 
the uh, Romanian deadlift. Tremendous form there, there by Brad, RDL. Uh, as you can see here with day three, big day with it with the bench and the squat. Uh, going into that rack clean, dumbbell press, inverted rack row. We will get to tricep push down here at the end. RDL by Brad. And as you can see, as we've already shown, the, the glute ham is included on this day when we squat again. And we will show the, uh, the neck machine and then the, the crunches or, as you guys know, various variation with, uh, with core exercises. All right, we'll head into day four. Okay, so Justin will go through the hang clean here. Uh, <clears throat> once again, going to try to lower down to the knees. And Justin with some shorter arms doesn't have much of a length to lower, but get that bar moving up. Once it gets, as you can see there, above his waistline, then he snaps underneath it and finishes out. Okay, Noah getting ready here with a military press. Uh, <clears throat> if the shoulder joint is not compromised at all, we can go ahead and go with behind the head uh, version there with the military press as Noah does. Definitely need a spotter here to go ahead and rack that. Uh, very good Noah. And then we'll pan over to the military press machine with uh, Justin. If we got beginning learners and guys that have had the shoulders compromised at all, that machine uh, helps keep that in line. And then we can also go back and do the military press on the, in the rack where Noah is here but do it with the front or do it in front of the body, excuse me, in front of the head, and we'll just show one there. All right, thanks. Okay, Brad back in the rack here for a clean shrug. Like to get in that clean position, get a little bit of triple extension, but we're trying to squeeze those shoulders to your ears, and we still get that little triple extension there. And we can vary that. We can roll the shoulders forward sometimes. We can sho roll the shorter shoulders back as Brad did there as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, Noel now get in and do a, do a lunge with a straight bar. Uh, Noel's a, a high-end athlete for us, so it does have some weight on there. Our, our lower end or our beginners would start maybe with a PVC pipe, work up to a bar, and then uh, a load weight. Noel does a great job. Knee in line with the toe coming down uh, with the hips to the ground. Great job. So, got curls next. Just a curl bar here with Justin with, with a tight grip curl. Uh, once again, a little bit of bend there in the knees. Uh, nice athletic controlled movement. And then Justin here will go ahead and lengthen out to the wide, wide curl to, to vary the exercise and the activity. Thank you, sir. Uh, Justin then will go into the upright row. Uh, once again, he can have the hands in the curl, inside curl position, pulling to the chin, little bend there in the knee all the time. Justin can also move the hands right together. Go ahead, close it all the way in, and pull <clears throat> directly up to the chin to get that bar a little bit higher there. And this is an upright row. Okay, Brad's going to show a, a, a box jump here. <clears throat> good starting point and the ending point is key he lands uh, in an athletic position load the hips explode up and he can land in a double leg there a lot of times with with our jump stuff we'll do it at the end and we're talking six to ten if we did a a jump routine uh, we would want to go go no more than 24 but would like to do that on a day where we just didn't load the lower body Brad does a good job with box jump and land. Okay, so we do test for the broad jump, so Noah once again is gonna get in a good athletic clean position in that jump position as we clean <clears throat> and explode out and land. And he'll do one more of those from a side view and then do one here with a broad jump, nice and easy, coming out, coming out right at us. As you can see here, we did go through the hang clean, the military press, the shrugs, the curls, the lunges, the upright row. We did not show the barbell row again. We, we did that uh, earlier, 
and then we got into the box jumps, broad jumps, and then end with some core once again and incorporate things other than crunch, crunches, our crunch variations are obviously traditional crunches, crunches done on a, on a stability ball, <clears throat> uh, leg, leg pull-ups from a hang position, and also variations of, of planks and whatnot. Okay, on our neck machine here then, <clears throat> got four variations, much like the hurdles. Noah starting there, uh, facing the east, and then going to facing the south, and then going over facing the west. Try to get your hands on those, on those items you can grasp so you are just working your, uh, your neck muscles. Just a great, great safety trainer there. And Noah's just hit uh, all four directions there. Okay, yeah. Justin gets in. Here's our, here's our lap pull there. We like this to be <clears throat> the opposite or the antagonist of the bench. So we like to pull to the front of the sternum there in a nice uh, fluid motion. And that is your lap pull. Brad's going to do here tricep push down, in this case pull down, good athletic position once again, ground base all the way up. And we got that nice uh, <clears throat> mark right there above the device that goes above his head. He pulls that down, separates at the bottom, and controls it up through the top. And that's your tricep push down. Uh, in closing then, thanks for your time, thanks for the work of uh, Noah Bright and Justin, and uh, look forward to all of us uh, working together, continue to work a little, a little bit more collaboratively uh, with that underlying in goal of, of creating uh, explosive athletes and creating a uh, well-rounded uh, multi-sport athlete here at Winterset High School. Thank you, have a good day.